Plus Size Travel Struggles 2024. Still can't fit in the plane lavatory comfortably? Still can't walk down the aisles comfortably? Still can't use the tray tables? Still can't go through security without getting an extra pat down? Still can't fly without asking for a seatbelt extender? Still can't find plus-size clothing in stores or souvenir shops. Still can't enjoy the pool if it's not accessible. What's going on, gang? It's the kid Low here, back here, back at it with another video. Now, peep this. I'm not gonna lie. I don't care how mean this shit comes off, but I personally, me personally, I don't feel like the world should accommodate for fat people. Being fat is a choice. Now, there are exceptions. I'm not even gonna cap to you. There are exceptions. There are people who are just big boned it people. There are people that are born big and they can't help that. Those aren't the people I'm talking about. I'm talking about the people that can control their weight and choose not to. <laughs> Those people, the world should not accommodate for you. I, I, I be hearing like sob story, like this influencer, for instance, she's promoting body positivity. And it's like, yes, you should love yourself. But I feel like it's the right message, wrong messenger. I don't want to learn about body positivity from an obese individual. You know what I'm saying? And I don't feel like it's healthy for this creator to have this platform and have other fatties feel like it's okay for them to be fat because that's not okay. That's never been okay. Never, never. Now, I am not talking about the people who cannot control they wait. I'm not talking about those people. There are a bunch of people in this world who are big and they can't help their size. Shoot, there's a lot of big people. There's a lot of big girls and big guys out here who eat healthy, who exercise, but they, their genetics are just meant for them to be big. And those people are, aren't who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the people who can lose weight, but choose to, to, to be comfortable and their food addiction. And I don't feel like this creator is is healthy. I don't feel like her message is healthy. I don't feel like her message is healthy and positive at all. I don't. But then again, I can't sit here and be like, oh, she shouldn't have a platform and she should be promoting this because honestly, one one thing I'm I will never do is come for somebody bag. And two, I listen to rap music, murder music. So you know what I'm saying they not promoting good shit either. But I feel like there's a difference in that. But I'm gonna get into that shit another day. I'm gonna throw in another clip just so y'all can see like how sick this is. This is sick. This is sick. This this is sick. And no, I'm not fat phobic. I'm not scared of fat people disgusted but not fat i mean not not scared i'm sorry and this is like maybe a controversial take but i don't think that the majority of fat people until you learn about body liberation and body positivity no one would choose to continue to be fat in a world where they absolutely hate fat people people think that i'm glorifying obesity by spreading this mm. the word and like telling everybody about this information i trust me i wouldn't recommend anybody be fat in this world it is horrible. Mm. It is so traumatizing. It is so isolating. People are evil. They are cruel. Strangers think it's okay to tell you on the bus, mm. you're fat, you should lose weight, you're disgusting. Like, it's nonstop. And that leads to people isolating themselves and, like, seeking comfort through food. And this video is where she contradicted herself and her brand because her whole platform is based off the fact that she glorifies being obese. But then she goes on this podcast and she says that no one chooses to be fat and that uh, 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 she isn't promoting obesity. She's not promoting that. Uh, 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 she just wants to teach people to be positive with themselves. And nah, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it at all. Being fat is a choice, okay? Uh, 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 people do, I feel like, People do gain weight, you know, and 
we fat to people is different, you know, but I feel like we all as a society have like a underlining understanding of what overly fat is, you know, because it's like it's like this. I get fat. My parents get fat. Everybody around me get fat. We 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 let go of ourselves a little bit, but then we get back up. You know what I'm saying? Like I might gain uh, 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 30 pounds, 40 pounds, and I might be, you know, saying 250 or 230 or whatever. But that's not like obsessive. That's just like, dang, you gained a little weight. You need to lose some. Or like my, my mom will probably gain like 30 pounds or something. And she's like pushing 280 and she's like, OK, I need to lose a little bit, of, a little bit of weight. But once you start hitting over. 300 and you're not an athlete you're not no bodybuilder you're not no football player you just 300 pounds of pure fat like and then you want and then on top of that you 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 300 pounds of pure fat and you decide to create a platform and make other fat people feel like it's okay to be fat i feel like what she should have did was she should have started her fitness journey on youtube and that would have motivated fat people I feel like that's more motivating to fat people than going on a platform, than making a than making a platform and building your whole platform on the fact that you're fat and that you want other fat people to be okay with being fat, just like you're okay with being fat. And that's not healthy at all. What she should have did was when she started her channel or started her YouTube, started her TikTok, whatever she she got, she should have started her fitness journey and each day grind it to get to a certain level i feel like that's more inspirational than going on a platform and being like you're fat and i'm fat too but it's okay because you should love yourself no that's not a positive message at all there's nothing positive about that message you're literally spreading gluttony because you're making these people think oh well if 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 she's okay being fat then uh, and, and she's doing good in life i can continue doing what i'm doing and that's that's a no that's that's a no that's a no uh, uh obese people are the laziest people in the world because you allowed yourself to like you you, you not even allowed you force yourself to have to be taken care of eventually you know have y'all ever watched my 600 pound life I never felt bad for those people, never, because they did it to themselves. And they sit up there and create this long ass, sad ass backstory about how they was bullied as a kid and and they felt food for comfort. And it's like, I don't I don't care because there's there's different ways to deal with that. People, you know, people exercise to deal with their depression. Like there's dudes that's in the gym that go to the gym because they're depressed and that helps. There's other ways to like, you know what I'm saying, cope with shit. Like you could have read, you could have did a lot of shit, but you decided to eat and now you're a fat ass and now you're teaching people that it's okay being fat. And that message is not a message that should be spread around the world. But anyways, that's the end of this video, guys. I'm done talking about these fat people. Um, If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Y'all boys like and comment. Roll to 300K. Let's get it. Gazaw. Later.